Welcome back, Squirrel Nation. I hope you're all having an outstanding day. To start the video, thank you to our four members on the screen for supporting me. Um, following up, this video is going to be about the tomorrow's update or the update tonight. So I'm going to start by discussing that and then we will go into some gameplay and I'll keep kind of talking more about the update. Anyways, so the major changes are to Feather and Assassins in terms of synergies. Assassins, it definitely is going to drop them down in the, the rankings of my tier list because their early and mid game is not going to be as strong. Late game, I still think if you get to that full like super stacked Abyssal Crawler, none of the changes in this patch are going to stop that from being really, really strong and dominant. The only hard part for assassins is just getting to that three star is going to be harder because they're going to be weaker early and mid game feather is also probably going to hit assassins kind of hard because feather i think these changes to feather mainly giving a chance to evade to the feather unit's teammates is going to help feather deal with assassins and feather has always been the kings of tempo meaning speeding up the game uh, getting two and three star units really early in the game, getting levels quickly. So those type of things are also going to hurt assassins, I think. So my prediction is Feather will replace assassins in the top three of the new meta. So my top three are going to be Warriors as the, the number one meta comp, Mages as second, and Feather as third. The reason Warriors jump Mages, in my opinion, is because of the item changes. Um, if we if we look at the anti magic cloak and the jade pipe, those changes uh, may seem little, but those are enough to give warriors the edge over mages, in my opinion. Uh, I did yesterday's video about the demon cleave, and one thing I was pointing out is that like fallen witcher and rogue guard, they they have enough magic resistance to where the mages can't just burst them down. And now if you add that extra 5% magic resistance from a jade pipe plus a, a bigger magic shield, then I think that's actually going to be enough to get warriors over the mages in the meta. So one thing I want to point out here is the reason mages have been so strong is because mages scale extremely well with the magic items in the game. Meaning if you have the three mage synergy or the six mage synergy, mages get a huge amount of damage from the pulse staff and the upgraded version. So warriors didn't, they, ha they had that kind of with the cleave, and but they didn't have it as much with their defensive items. So they had it with attack items, but not with defensive items. But now the warriors are going to scale really well with defensive, item, defensive items and physical damage items. So that's what I think they get the benefit. And then same thing is the Oblivion Staff and Monkey King Kane are going to matter a lot more now because I think Feather will come back into the meta. So those are going to be items that you actually are targeting. So basically... Warriors really benefit from the item changes because the two other top comps are probably going to be mages, which the warrior can counter with items, and feather, which the warrior can also counter with items. So anyways, that's mainly what I take out of the patch. With that said, let's just move on to the gameplay. Okay, diving into the game. Today, let me know in the comments what team composition you want me to practice next and by that I mean I'll put out a video just like yesterday's demon cleave video where I play I force the comp you know at least five different games and I try to show you different matchups and how they go uh, my my thinking is I was going to do feather after the patch drops um, but if you all want to see a different comp let me know so I could do mages we could do warriors again We can do feather we can do goblins or assassins I would say those are probably going to be the top five comps in the after the patch So in the comments, let me know which one you want to see next and I will try to do that one first Anyways with that. Let's just get into the gameplay here We will grab the warrior and goblin and go for it and Let's see Yep, nobody's hitting anything super special, so that's good. I guess I can keep talking about just kind of patch thoughts as they come up. Something I think is interesting is I think the sleeper synergy for next patch is going to be goblins. I'm not, I'm not too sure how goblins are going to land. So I'm just going to kind of talk out what's on the top of my mind when it comes to goblins, and you can take what, what makes sense to you and just disregard the rest. So to me, what I see out of that is 
goblins with item changes are still going to get beat by mages and goblins are still going to get dominated by like the cleave demons the demon cleave um aka demon warriors so the item changes benefit the warriors just as much as they benefit the goblins i don't think it helps the goblins do better against the warriors and i don't think the items do enough for goblins to get them past mages either but that's where i might be wrong i don't really know how super strong the the changes to jade pipe will be i don't think it will be enough to help goblins versus the the mages but if if i'm wrong that is where i would expect my my wrongness to be if that makes sense um but anyways let's get this i was thinking i don't know three warriors or i kind of want the dwarf sniper but i was also thinking of going for glacier i think we will just go for this this is not going to win but whatever and we have two magic crystals i can get a shadow's edge mm. Yeah, so we got melee stuff. So I think here I'm actually going to drop the Soul Breaker. I'm going to set up. I actually kind of want to try Glacier Warriors. That's something that I've been wanting to experiment with, and I haven't really tried it. And if I look at the items, we're we're in an okay spot since I can get the Shadow's Edge, and then we can also have a mana item. So I think that's probably what we will do based on what we can get. And okay, there we go. Some more, more warrior idge, and Garrus kind of opens. Thinking something like this, and if I sell one god of war, we could level. I'm not sure it really helps me that much. I am gonna tempo. It looks like people are not super tempoing, so we'll do that. And let's the items. I think I'm trying to decide. I probably want the armor more than I want the broken sword, so I think we'll grab this mana crystal and we will grab the lucky coin here and this lucky coin. There we go. So there are our items, and I want to save my cleave um, for my my demon uh, unit eventually, or like one of my four costs. So I'm going to try to put it onto something that is not going to stay with us forever. There we go. We hit lots of warriors. Uh, I do want to grab the... I want to grab the... Um, sorry, the Dwarf Sniper Pair. And the Cleave, I'm actually... Hmm. This is hard, because I might actually hold on to quite a few of these. So I guess we'll go with this for now. Mana Item... I could also, I'll put it on my Dwarf Sniper actually for now just to get off quick alts. Here we go, I need to organize. And I, if we win this, I'm going to get rid of the Divinity and grab the Dwarf Sniper. And if we're losing, I'll probably sell the uh, Desperate Doctor. And oh, this can, no, no, not close. Okay, there we go. So grab the Dwarf Sniper and hopefully we can hit some pairs. And my cleave. Hmm. Who shall I put the shadow's edge on? And I'm trying to kind of think of the glacier glacier warrior build in my head right now. And wow, we have so many pairs. Okay, so we have four pairs, which is never a place I really like to be. And maybe I should actually just drop the door snipers. And get in more warriorage. Probably when we go to level six, I'll do that if I don't hit the pair, is what I'm thinking. And I think we're gonna have to give up on the the glacier here because we're just not hitting other glacier things. So I am gonna do that. I'm holding on the taboo in case we want to do our demon cleave type of team comp. So we'll do that. <clears throat> and. Yep, we are losing. I'm not super surprised by that. Let's see if we can turn this around, though. And, oh, that is beautiful, because that lets me use this. Then I give up here, because what we can do is we can go to six uh, warrior. And actually, the mana I might put on my doom in this case, because that silence can be quite clutch. So we'll also level after this for sure. And 
I could also put on the Swordsman. I think I'll put on Swordsman, because I can get it back from Swordsman, and because eventually I probably sell Swordsman, and he has a really strong early game ultimate, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll go with Swordsman. And by the way, when you're practicing team compositions, it's exactly the stuff I'm doing here that you want to practice, so you don't have hesitation. So ideally, I wouldn't be hesitating over where to put items. Um, I think when you hesitate where to put items, that means you haven't practiced the team composition enough. So looks like we are going to pull this off. That's good. I was a little worried when my Doom got stunned. And if we can get an early two-star Doom, that would be really, really nice. Anyways, there we go. And I am going to put out our sixth warrior. And let's front here. Generally, the enemies will be on this side. So I'm going to do something like this. And there we go. Okay. Egg, I'm kind of tempted to use, but we won't. So we still have three pairs. And I think at this point, I definitely am going to go Glacier. We've been getting a lot of Glacier stuff. So the Glacier Warriors, what I my plan is, is to try four Glacier, counting the Berserker, three Warrior, which will be Doom, Berserker, and then the um, Abyssal Guard. And then I can also get a Siren and a Tsunami, so we have four Abyssal. And then if we keep leveling, I can get in just whatever other Legendary I get. But ideally, it would be a Dark Spirit. So that is the team comp I am targeting. And there is a siren, so that is also nice. And what do I want to get rid of here? So Taboo, your time has come and gone. I will grab the <clears throat> siren. And the rest I think I can keep. I'm trying to think of what I could sell. I could... Glacier probably won't go in for a while unless we hit a a Berserker. So I could also sell the Frost Knight. I could sell so one gold, two gold, three gold. I can only sell three gold, so never mind. We're just staying with this. And Dracula Mass, pretty good. So let's see. Maybe I don't need the Heavy Marine, though, to be honest, because I don't see other mages, or I don't see mage comps coming in. And, okay, nice. We will take the two stars just to power spike a bit. I'm thinking of making the Phantom Mask, or, sorry, the Ghost Prophet, or Puppet Mask. Oh, my gosh. Miscall it, like, 50 times. There we go. Do something like this just so more of my units can get benefit out of the item. Yeah, we'll go like that. And get my two stars to also get the, the lifesteal. And yeah. So here, hopefully Tusker, we're not, I don't need to hold on to that. So we only have one pair right now. I do want to start to econ, definitely. And I think our team is pretty strong right now. So econ and probably tempo level. And all that good, good stuff. We can grab Venom just to block some people. And, do, do, do. okay, so there's one mage, there's a divinity, so probably two mages. So the marine, the marine will help us. There's also the storm shaman. And we do have one mana crystal on our swordsman, so we can have one, at least one mana crystal on our, oh, that's beautiful. Because we have that mana crystal we've been sitting on. There's that. We can unicorn trick. There's that. There's that, and I'll still hold it. Block block things as long as I can block them. And yeah, we are definitely looking good right now. So I'm looking at other people's economies and the level, because I'm deciding if we tempo level after this and put in the Siren. Um, because that gives us Marine Synergy, which is pretty good, and plus the Siren's good. The problem is a one-star Siren I have to front, and if we fight Assassins, she's going to get wrecked. So I'm mainly looking if there's Assassins, like heavy Assassin teams. And their first place in is, is an Assassin with multiple two-star Assassins. So putting in the Siren's not really that great of a power spike for me, I don't think. So we will not go that way. And we still haven't seen like a Desperate Doctor. I would like to replace the Frost Knight with a Desperate Doctor if possible. 
And here I will be selling both the assassins to get back to 20 gold. So that is in the plan. And I'm seeing if anybody's leveling. One person did level. Do I think I can beat them if I do level? Oh, they're also going some sort of, mm, I don't know. They're very strange comp right now. But it's like they're between things. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to stay with this. It's too risky. I, I would level if I could guarantee that I'm going to win, but I can't guarantee I'm going to win. And if I, if I tempo leveled right there, I would crush my economy. So it's, it's too risky. Um, yeah, it's just too risky. So there we go. And then first place, like even if we level first place, do we win? I'm not sure. Depends their items, kind of. Eh, maybe. If I had a Halbert, I would have more confidence against first place, but we don't, so oh well. There we go. If we win, I sell the taboo. And yeah, other people. Okay, second place also leveled. Second place, do I be? Oh, man, another. So they're going the demon route. And wow, they have a lot of really good stuff. Oh my gosh. they Second place is super ahead of us. So I'm not going to level here either because once again I don't I'm not sure we beat uh second place and yeah I don't want to blow my economy for that doom not a great alt unfortunately he alts the uh trend protector after the trend protector already dies but let's see if we can get this no matter what taboo is getting sold and if I need to I will sell the um glacier Oh no, my God of War was tanking the the Abyssal Guard, which was great, but that gave up. Okay, he has good position. He might actually do reasonable here. Okay, there we go. No, the unfortunately, no, nah, the Water Spirit got on the backside. So that is all she wrote. But yeah, anyways, here we go. Storm Shaman. I'm trying to see if I can get above gold. I could if I want to sell my swordsman. I'm not going to streak. I'm pretty behind people at this point. I might almost embrace a lose streak at this point, just so I can get some stuff. Or I could pick up the storm shaman. Um, I'm not going to use a storm shaman, but because see, second place is just flat out ahead of me. The only advantage I have is economy, so that's kind of why I want to make the most of my economy. And, yeah. I think I am going to do that. Yeah, I think we're going to sell. I could also sell the fortune teller, but like I said, Glacier Warriors I think is a good idea here because of the fact that we have a lot of competition for the other warriors. So Glacier Warriors is great. Okay, that magic staff is quite nice because that gets us a pulse staff and we can get that on our siren once we sell a swordsman. And Swordsman is very close to getting sold. If I could get a Berserker, I would very happily sell my Swordsman, put in the Siren, put in the Berserker, and level, and then put in the Berserker. And there we go. So that's a pair. And here, again, I'm tempted to actually sell and just put it in. I think I... Mm, Eh, I'm kind of tempted. But no, we'll, we'll stay with it. I'll just keep the six warrior in. I'm kind of tempted to sell it. It drops my synergy, but I'm almost tempted to lose streak here. Oh, this is one of the people we were, I was not sure we could beat. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, and it looks like we're actually doing pretty well against them. If we can kill the poison worm relatively quickly. Nice. So we win that. I'm not going to sell the Abyssal. I'm still... Oh, the Priest. I'm, I'm going to sell him. We don't even have a Berserker yet, so I'm not going to worry about grabbing Glacier stuff until we, we get the Berserker. And the Priest is easier to get throughout the game since he's a 3 cost. Okay, we level. There we go. Now we can have in our Marine Synergy. And... I think from here we just keep leveling. Yeah, just keep leveling. I'm trying to think. I could do an assassin catcher with the God of War. How are the assassin teams? So there's one six assassin and one three assassin. 
I think no matter what, I lose the assassin, so I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to stay like this. Um, because I do better against the other team comps that aren't assassins when my God of War is tanking right from the beginning instead of jumping from the back line. Cool. Let's see how we're doing against second place, who actually is one of the three assassins. So yeah, so they, they kill my Siren right away, but it's okay because Doom got a nice ultimate. We break their streak, so that's beautiful. And let's look at first. Yeah, first place is that that cleave. Demon Cleave. Oh, nice. We got the Pirate Captain, which allows me to sell him. And now our Siren can get an item on her, which is good. Doom's problem is Doom's magic resistance is not super great. So that is also something we could think about. Reroll. No, I don't really want the Divinity. I'm just using him. Yes, I want the Abyssal Crawler. And we'll stop there. Okay. In this case, I'm just holding um, the Fallen just to, to block the enemy team. So that is the only reason why. And we're fighting. OK, this is the person we got last time. So hopefully, we, we, up, we got some, a few upgrades on our team. So hopefully, this should be an easy win still. And yeah, nice. We might be able to build a decent win streak before we go into the next minion round. We're also fighting first place. I'm curious. Oh, nice. We beat first place. How badly? Wow. I'm actually surprised we beat first. You know what? My doom must have. Wow. He has magic items. I'm very. That's very surprising to me. It had to be the siren. The siren must have gotten like pretty clutch. Uh, a pretty clutch ultimate off on first place would be my guess. So first place is definitely sad. Just lost their streak. The Witcher, I guess, we don't really need to block. I highly doubt they're going to try to go for a 3-star. Especially now that they lost their streak. So I could sell that. I don't need you yet, since we're still minion round next. And we're still above 50 gold. And I can't level even if I sell it. <clears throat> so anyways, nice. Good Siren ultimate. Beautiful. And cleaving away with our sweet Berserker. So I think we chose a good comp for our items. And this is a great game as an example of why I think Warriors are going to dominate next patch. This is what I mean by they scale with items so well. It's like you get a good place to put your, your items onto your Doom uh, to carry you, and it's going to be really nice. And right now, Doom's weaknesses is to mage comps. But once you get those better magic items, it's going to make Doom a lot more consistent, even against those really good com those mage comps. So that's where I think Warriors end up getting the edge. I'm going to reroll at 8 to get... Actually, am I? I may not reroll at 8. We were targeting Glacier, and I don't have any of the Glacier stuff or like the Berserker. So I may just go keep going, to be honest. And we might actually switch into Demon Warriors, even though it's already contested. So I don't know. We'll 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 see. <clears throat> and I might reroll just to get my um, Siren, though. That would be helpful. So no. Oh no! I just passed the D. Oh my gosh! Hope oh, and there's a Berserker we we're talking about. Get rid of you now. And what do I want to take out? right now actually nothing yet oh actually i don't need to take anything out haha -ha. i tricked you all and okay that's good and do i really want to take a chief to three star no he's not going to fit in my comp at all i'm also my health is good I think we can afford to go to nine and try to get access to the legendaries quickly, like get a rogue guard, get a dark spirit, which I do want to mix in. So, and I do have two glacier we could put in now. So I think, yeah, we're going to give up on that. And what I think I'm going to do is actually put in the abyssal guard and probably drop the, or put in the abyssal crawler. But let's see about the mages. Are there even mages? I want to re-roll here, actually. Okay, nice. That's good. I'll take that. Keep re-rolling. I want to hit stuff because we do have so much competition. Oh my gosh, I keep oh my gosh, I keep forgetting we're going for the glacier and I'm passing stuff. Nope. 
and oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. So what I was saying, it's almost time. And there we go. Yeah, the Four Abyssal is looking good, but there is one mage, and actually that mage is looking pretty. How are their items? Ooh, their Flame Wizard stacked. Flame Wizard can be quite a carry in mage comp, by the way, so. And they're not super stacked. And will Marine really help me against other stuff? There's two mate Dragon teams. I don't think we really need the Marine synergy. So. Oh, Doom, get... Oh, man, if he... Oh, no, he's not going to ult. Never mind. Way too far away. And unfortunately, he's taking the aggro. So, lose streak gone, but that's fine. We're at 50. Those I could get rid of. Do, 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 do. And... Yeah, we're going to level. I don't want to keep re-rolling too long down here. So, that will happen. The Devastator looks kind of juicy. I don't want Frost Knight. Okay, let's just get rid of Divinity. We know he's going to go away eventually anyways, so let's maybe do something like this. And there we go. We'll level from here up to 9. And yeah, keep seeing what we can get. <clears throat> Okay, so here's a mage, and yeah, they are doing good against us, so yeah, maybe we will. If we can hit a tsunami, I'll go to four, four marine synergy. And yeah, let's see. The mage is who I'm tracking. This mage is in a pretty decent spot, especially since they hit the Tortola. I thought they didn't have the Tortola, but I guess they just hit it, so that's good for them. Keep leveling. I will grab that just to open up. We have not, I don't think we've seen a defector, but I also could have passed it, and I wouldn't be surprised. But, yes. And how is that 6 Assassin? I'm honestly holding the Abyss Crawler just to block them, plus I'm going to use it. So we have two Assassin comps, one's in second place. Oh, and they have my Tsunami. Yeah, see, so I'm, I'm going to keep holding the Abyssal Crawlers. It doesn't hurt me, and it, it hurts the mages a lot. It's two gold, doesn't really affect my economy, and I'm going to use the two-star in the plan. Nice, Devastator. Okay, so the Devastator's fitting in well. That's good. And, yeah, we're still we're still holding. We, did, we lost our streak, but, I mean, we're still first in health. And, okay, that wasn't the Mage. That was, yeah. The Mage did just lose to somebody, which is... I didn't get a C. Okay, Desperate Doctor. Nice. I'm going to level here on Curve. And, yeah, I'm just going to level... I'm, uh, I don't really want to sell that, but yeah, we'll just flatline it, maybe something like this. Um, Abyssal Guard, I, I was thinking I could try to take towards three star just because of the advantage we have. It gives up a little bit of my economy, but that's not a super huge deal. I'm holding on to Frost. I don't really want to use them, but I will. And, oh, you know what, I'm, I'll combine, and that makes bench space for me, and I'll grab the, no, ooh, grab the Doom. There, there we go. Okay. So, nice, and I also want that. Actually, the Pirate is not in my long-term plans, though, but let's do a little re-rolling. Beautiful, and that makes space for our Pirate. And we hit Mana item I'm going to save. I could get another Cleave. Out of this mana item, also. Hmm. I think I'm going to take that staff actually to boot, get it onto our Devastator, and then later I can get it onto our uh, like Dark Spirit if we can hit a Dark Spirit just to amp up their damage. And this mage is still giving us issue. Get rid of that. And okay. So yeah, four marine is looking good if we can hit that. Okay, those are pairs that I'm taking to three star. Doom, realistically, I'm not actually taking to three star. But we do have that other person. Grab that. And I guess that and do one reroll. And two reroll. And hit not... Oh, there we go. 
so that's four glacier actually. If I want to do this. And sorry, buddy, but you got to go. Okay, this is not super optimal right now. I'm going to have to clean up my comp here. Um, those, 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 pairs, pairs. Okay, get rid of things we're not going to use. And okay. So from here, I'm going to get in my four glacier after this round and just clear out some of the weaker, the weaker warriors. And we're going to change our formation. I will use a formation somebody sent me, um, and we'll adjust it from there. So that's good. Reroll it up. Okay. And, oh, beautiful. Dark Spirit. Okay, so Dark Spirit, I think, is actually going to replace Human. Okay, let's get rid of this. Take the Dark Spirit. And Siren, we're going to have there. Front you. Front you. Not front you, but anyways, there, here, here. Let's try something like this. And I think we give up. Okay, I'm going to give up on three star and stuff for now, just because I'm confusing myself being the first time me playing this comp. So I'm going to reroll heavily to try to hit things. And oh, and I forgot to put in my Frost Knight. So put in the Frost Knight. And then re-roll, and hopefully we can hit a, nope, nope, there we go, keep going, and unfortunately, no. Okay, so put that in, here, 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 I guess we'll take out the Devastator for now. Something like this, maybe. And now let's do this. And Devastator, get rid of you and get that onto my Dark Spirit. So it does extra, extra damage. Cool. Okay, so we got everything. I think this is where we want to get. And who was it? I'm trying to remember who it was that sent me this. Quisarian, Quis I think, is the person who was recommending I try this build. So... Quisarian, I hope you're enjoying this game, and I know I'm definitely, there, there. there's definitely things I could be doing better in this, so I, I know that, and this is my first game trying it, though, so I will clean it up, I promise, don't worry. Anyways, oh, there we go. Okay, so now we could get in the four, um, four marine synergy if I want that also. Take that because I want. To, actually, I might as well keep rerolling here just to see if I hit stuff. Nope. Then use it on my Berserker. Cool. And that here. And the magic resistance we know we don't need now. Cleave. I could add another cleave. I honestly think the cleave is probably best in this case. But I unfortunately, I just botched it and I put that item on the Berserker. So that's unfortunate. Okay, oh, nice. The game saved me. I can get a halberd. That's beautiful. Okay, so, and I do want to level. So, wait a second. Siren, because we want her to get her ultimate off quickly. No, don't use that. I need my life crystal to get a halberd. Stack up our doom. Beautiful. And the other thing, I guess magic resistance just here. And I want, sorry, out of these other items, I don't know, those items I'll sit on. Maybe another coin, because if I get a Shadow's, if I get a Shadow, wait, uh, Shadow's Edge and an Axe of Fury, they stack. So I think that's what I'll use that coin for. And actually, I will just put that coin onto Doom to give him the extra evasion for now. And I know that I'm targeting a Shadow Fury, or uh, Shadow Axe, oh my gosh, Shadow's Edge with an Axe of Fury. There we go. I can speak English. Um. Okay, so for me to get in my Marine, one, I need to go to level 10, and two, I need to drop my Pirate Captain. So now becomes the, is it worth it because the Mage is about to die? Question. And 
I don't think so for right now. So I'm, I'm just going to sit on it for right now and we'll see. And the other question becomes, if there's no mage, what do I want to go? I probably want to boost up my Warlock, I would guess. Let's go for Warlock instead. I could bring in a Garrus. I could bring in a Garrus or a Warlock. What else? Oh, I actually could. Can I get back to six? And yeah, we're fighting the mage, and it looks like... Okay, so we are losing um, to the mage, but not crazily. But... The mage looks very close to dying, but maybe they won't. That's how mages roll. So let's look at them and evaluate. Uh, their items are not good, but they have some big stuff. So I am just going to level here on curve. There we go. Get that in. Get that in. Take that out. We did just fight the mage, though, which kind of makes me, like, you know, want to be a little greedy. And nope, I don't need it. So we can try this. Let's see how this goes. Mana on to... I, okay, if I put it on Siren, she just insta-alts, but she's basically almost insta-alting. Not quite, but very, very close to insta-alting with just the Pulse Staff and a Mana Crystal, so we'll stick with this. And nice. Okay, this person is fourth place. If we fight the Mage, we probably kill them. So the Mage is basically trying to dodge us at this point. And I think once the mage is out, I'm going to shift into Warlock. So that is my goal. Berserker's already 2-star, two 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So we're looking just to upgrade our legendaries. Um, The dragon is pretty useless, but the Soul Reaper is nice, so I'll take the Soul Reaper. When we, when we level up. So now we have Warlock, and I will switch out two of my Marine to go for the Warlock. If the Mage... Okay, and we're fighting the Mage, so that's good. I can switch it out now, and yeah. And then we will have four Warlock with the Glacier, and our Doom is our carry with all that Cleave. The Mage should be dying. We're fighting them. Wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, they're out. Okay, I'm like, wow, did that Mage seriously just hold on? Okay, cool. So it's me and what is left? Okay, so the ooh, the, wow, he hit a three star. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, three star Fallen Witcher. Hmm. So this is where we really find out what's up. Okay, do this. I think. Do I want? Hmm. I'm not sure. What's probably my intuition would tell me that the. Uh. Venomancer is better just to try to drop their armor than the Soul Reaper, but I could be wrong there. So these things we give up on. I definitely don't need magic resistance against the what we're fighting. Oh, that's good item. Oh my gosh. Stop. Let me combine. Okay, let's buff up things. And can I get... Ooh, this is... Harold, uh, I feel like upgraded is probably the best out of this. Just because. Do that. And. No, on my. Here. Ah, okay. So let's see how we're doing. How good or bad. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like we're doing solid. Okay. So, oh, get the kill. Nice. And can I adjust? We still don't even have two stars on a lot of stuff, so that's also good for us. The dark. Okay, they beat them from our view. We beat them. And this comes to the Venomancer or the Soul Reaper. I am going to go with whichever one I can get to two star, I think is going to be our answer here. And can I hit the dark spirit? Okay, cool. So we hit that. Oh, Rogue Guard. Hmm, tempting. Is it worth it in a non-cleave comp? I'm curious. We'll, we'll test. And no. And no. Okay. I mean, any upgrade at this point. So, let's keep going. Okay, he moved the taboo onto my Doom. I don't really care, because I don't really care if Doom ults, to be honest. He's there for the cleave. Oh, yeah, wrecking through. The Venomancer ult, I think, is the right thing, because it just drops their armor. That, that armor drop is pretty significant. Because last round... We did last round. I also don't think he was 10, um, but yeah, 
There we go. Okay, that's beautiful, but I'm going to reroll. Let's see if we hit our Dark Spirit. We don't. Do that here and do this. Okay, so we're glaciered up. Um, I can probably adjust some things here. We know he's coming in on the sides. I don't want to attack the Dark Spirit because I don't want it to ult quickly. We got these things safe. I'm actually going to front this, and I'm also going to front our our other stuff. So hopefully my fortune teller gets alt off. Nice. He gets alt off to actually save things this time. He saved two things, himself and the Abyssal Guard, so hopefully that helps. And my Doom is still going 1v mono e mono. And okay. There we go. Oh. So I think I'm gonna stick with my comp right now. And how oh they're double onto my actually I don't know that. Does Halbert and the Herald stack? I don't know. Well we're gonna find out. I'm very curious actually. So let's let's try this out. And yeah, we'll stay with this. Let's see. Okay, he got a two-star rogue guard though. And I don't know if he had I don't think he had that, so that's gonna be a pretty big power boost to him. And actually we are just dominating through him wow okay well i have i have learned something so this glacier warrior great great build so thank you uh quasarian i think is the person who shared this on discord with me so thank you very much this is a good first test run i also did hit this like beautifully like i think i hit everything you could possibly want to hit doing this but um yeah anyways what can he even do to counter me not much. I mean, honestly, he should put his taboo on my Venomancer, but that's all I can really think about. Otherwise, I don't think there's much he can do. His Dark Spirit, he can't make take damage because it's only one star. So, yeah. Also, I don't, I don't know if I should get rid of my Pirate Captain. I feel like the... Oh, you know what? I can get rid of, I can get rid of my um, Abyssal Guard. Oh, yes, we get the stack. So Shadow Cleave, that will help me a lot because it just makes my cleave a lot larger radius. So that's beautiful. And, oh, I don't want to upgrade. Okay, yes, that's beautiful also. And no, I don't want to do that. Okay. So unfortunately, I put too much stuff, I would say, onto my, my Doom, but lesson learned. Whatever, I'm just going to make this item, and then this will go on my human. Oh, I could have... Oh, no, I can't. Okay. So, same thing. My Dark Spirit gets off. My Siren gets a beautiful alt. And I think the reason I'm just getting him is my CC. So, he he didn't... He doesn't have CC in his build. So, he's also not using the Demon Cleave that I use. Um, I think that's another thing that's hurting him. Because if you notice, he doesn't have the Siren that I normally run in Demon Cleave. So I think his Demon Cleave is a lot weaker than it could be. So I don't think this necessarily means that Demon Cleave loses to this Glacier uh, glacier Warrior. But the Siren is super important. So if you're running these things, like definitely don't, don't chintz out on your Siren. And... Ooh. I'm one away. I almost hope he stays alive. I don't even care if I get second place, if I can just get a legendary, if I can get a three star. I've still never got a three star legendary. So, oh, but I only have 29 health. Mm. Okay, I win from my view, he wins from his view. That's perfect world. And it looks like he might win from this view also. No, I beat him. Oh, well. Oh, and he wins from my view. Oh, come on. Well, well, game, you never want it to happen to me. <laughs> but anyways gg oh that also is our king promotion so we've pushed into king finally um on this note i think i've kind of plateaued to where i'm going to be able to climb like my win rate is really high i think i have like an almost 80 percent uh top three finish and like 40 something percent first place finish which those stats are good enough to push higher the problem is i just can't play enough games like the other like literally i go up in the ranks then i go to sleep and by the time I make my next YouTube video the next day, like I've dropped back down to where I was the day before. So I think the other people just, they, they basically play way more than I have the time to play. So yeah, I, I think we're kind of where I will be ending up in terms of 
top players, but we will still try to push for queen by the end of the season. Um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you to all my members. You make this channel possible. You let me take the time out of my day to do this type of stuff, so I appreciate it. Um, and Quizarian, thank you very much for sharing this build, this fun build with me on the Discord server. Anyways, love you all. Talk to you tomorrow.